he would drop whatever he was doing to come help you. Give his last shirt off his back if you asked to a complete stranger. He'd do a smile on his face the whole way. When a Marine dies in combat, from the time that he's pronounced dead, uh, he's never left alone. Um, we are here today to take over the, the watch. Uh, it's our turn to, to guard Brian until he's at his final resting place. I knew right away, um, no offense to any other Marines, but I, um, I'll make sure he's, when he comes back to Michigan, he's, he's brought home right. I think it's important to all of us to be here for Brian and to do this because we all looked out for each other, and especially I know for the three of us, we were all junior to him and he always took over that big brother role. So now it's our turn to take over and watch out for him. It's a bond, it's a bond that can't be described. For those who have not gone through this and the less the better, there is some comfort in the kind of ceremony that you, you get with a full military funeral. Today the Purple Heart is perhaps the most unique of all United States military awards. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America has awarded the Purple Heart to Sergeant Brian K. Burgess, United States Marine Corps. They say you can judge the worth of a person by how many people come to their funeral. Well, best friends and family, I ask you to take your eyes and look around the room. I wish you could have been with us this week because this is just a fraction of what we came in contact with. And we're searching for anything that's good in this. You know, we're, we're not even trying to figure out why. We're just, we're just accepting it and, and being absolutely amazed at the, the love and the respect that, that Brian has gotten. I'd like to thank you for coming this morning to Camp Barria for the memorial service to honor Sergeant Brian Burgess. According to his mother, Brian held so deep a love for his country that he felt it was worth sacrificing his life for. On the morning of the 9th, I was walking to Chow. I saw Burgess on standing on top of a Humvee outside the Chow Hall. Smile on his face, cigarette in his mouth. He yelled me out, yeah, baby, as only he can. On the way back out came as no surprise. There was Brian. Stand on top of the Humvee. We exchanged a few laughs, and I told him to stay safe, and I'd see him out there. Those were the last words I got to say to him. Brian was proud of his heritage. He's proud of being a Marine, doing what he loved, fighting along us all. It won't be the same without you, Burge. We love and miss you. Godspeed. Semper Fidelis. Sergeant Perry, present. Sergeant Shortridge, present. Sergeant Burgess. Sergeant Burgess! Sergeant Brian K. Burgess! Aim. Fire. Ready. Aim. Fire! Ready. Aim. Fire. Brian gave the ultimate sacrifice that it's a double-edged sword like no one, of course, ever wants to lose their life, but it's also one of the highest honors to give your life for the country that you love. I, th I think what we're trying to hold on to is that Brian didn't die for nothing. You know, he had the Marines, which he, he loved that discipline and, and the camaraderie and, the, and uh, you know, these guys are, these guys are almost closer than family. I mean, it's, 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 it's in that universe and it's, and it's something extremely special.